back to poor boy disc golf and it's that time of the year we're going to be doing the in the bag for the 2023 season uh this year i'm going to be using the dynamic disc paratrooper bag on one of my carts uh, this is how it's going to be set up for any kind of rounds that i do any kind of tournaments that i might do and everything uh, but yeah we're going to break down what's in the bag and uh, what this year will hold for old poor boy all right so beginning of this year you know here it is late march almost april weather's been cold rainy just nasty so this is like the first week i've been able to get out and do some things you know have some good rounds uh and everything but yeah it's been pretty pretty interesting uh this year i don't know how many tournaments i'm going to be playing in uh i really don't know i'm just going to try to work on uh, a couple of core things this year try to get better try to get my distance just a little bit higher i like to be shooting about 350 400 by the end of the year uh, i'd like for my putts to be just a little bit better uh, especially the uh, over 25 feet out uh, my approach shots and scramble shots are killing it right now so i i only have to work on that just a little bit but i know what y'all are asking is well, what is in poor boy's bag well i'm going to tell you and at first we're going to start off with the putters all right so let's talk about putters i have uh two putting putters and three and three putch and approach putters well one of them being kind of my t-pad driver putter but first off the putting putters ones i just putt with i don't use them for anything else no approach shots it's just strictly putting and that is the ev7 penrose i've got it in bubblegum pink and i got it in money green uh they're coming in about 174 to 176 grams uh, they might be a little bit lighter since i've been beating them in a little bit you know uh speed two glide four turn of zero and a fade of two it's got it's really straight for me and then it has a really nice fade at the end uh these are in the og soft so they're they're really bendable uh they're really grippy too i love the plastic feel on this it feels like uh I can't describe it. It's it's a weird plastic feel, and I love the way that they did it. Uh, you know, these are made in the U.S. Uh, shout out to Disc Golf Nerd for sending me uh, the Penrose and uh, letting me try it because it's been in my bag ever since. Now, when it comes to my putt and approach, I have two discs, and then I have uh, two of the same mold. But the first one up is a Prodigy PA4. Now, this was turned on to me by a, uh, by a fan, sent it to me, and I love this for my putting approach. It's stable to understable, so whenever I throw it, I could, it'll go the Anheuser, and it'll flatten out and just sit. Or I could just get it to go straight the whole way, and it'll sit. I really like this for my putting approach. Now, this is another disc. If I put it on a Heiser, it'll hold that Heiser pretty well. And that's what I really like about this disc. It's a really good scramble disc. And, you know, you can't beat it. I think it's coming in at 173 grams. So it's in that little bit, that sweet spot for a putting approach. Now, my other putting approach is, if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know how much I love them. And that is the West Side Disc Harp. I've actually got two of them. This one is in their better plastic. And this is my tee pad shot. If the basket's around 170 feet or lower, I'll throw this at it. It's a it's good straight with a reliable fade at the end. Now, if you don't know about the harp, the harp is one of the most overstable putter slash hybrids because it is a speed four. So it's kind of in between a putter and a mid range. But I absolutely love the harp, and I have one in the uh, the BT Soft. So that way it's a little bit grippier. I can hit a tree with it. I can bounce it off of stuff and everything. And then I've got it in the, uh, I can't remember if it's the VIP plastic or what. But yeah, both of them are sitting like 173. Yeah, 175 on this one, 173 on this one. So they're really good putters. And that brings me into my 
mid ranges. So, uh, with my mid ranges, uh, you know, it's kind of got a shadow. I'm, I'm trying to do this wherever I can. There's a little bit of shade, a little bit of sunlight. But uh, my mid ranges, I only got two. Uh, a lot of people kind of ask me questions about that. Well, you should have at least four or five. You know, and I'm like, no, I'm happy with two. The first one up is an Innova KC Rock. This is sitting at 180 grams, so it's at the, it's at the you know, the heavy weight. Uh, it's really good. It's a factory second, and you know I didn't. I just bought it to test it. Fell in love with it. It's a really good mid-range for me. I can throw it, and it'll have that nice, reliable fade at the end that I really like. Make a flex line out of this. I know it's going to come right back to where it was going straight before it started to flip over. Uh, it's really good. I got it in the. Uh, it's not the DX plastic, it's the one up. I can I can never remember their plastic, but it's a little bit stiffer, you know. It's a little bit stiffer, a little bit harder, but this thing has been a workhorse for me. The next one has been in my bag for a while, and I, I keep getting them, I keep selling them, and I, they just keep coming back to me. And that is a Discraft Buzz SS. Now, I picked this one up a while back, and it has been just absolutely phenomenal for me. Uh, this is what I would consider my stable to understable, because if I put enough arm speed in it, it'll turn over, and it'll, and it'll come back to straight, but it's going to be more to the right. So, I know if I need a flex line to the basket, or that shot that needs to be straight from the tee, and then, and then fade, or not fade, but turn just a little bit, and then flatten out, I know that this will be able to do it. Uh, it's, it's really good plastics in the Z Flex, so it's really flexible. So I really love it in the winter because uh, it gets a little bit more, uh, it gets the plastic gets a little bit stiff and it has more of a stability on it. So, but yeah, this thing has been a really good workhorse. And then that leads into the fairway drivers. Now, in my bag, I have a, um, I consider it a step up bag where it starts with fairway drivers at, you know, like a, a six speed all the way up to a nine speed. Uh, I really like it the way I got it set up and it's been doing really good for me. Now, the thing about it is I've got an overstable and an understable for each speed uh, per se. So, uh, Starting off first, it is a MVP switch. Now, I didn't think I would like this very much, but I kind of do. It's sitting at 159 grams, it's a lightweight. Uh, 6.5 speed, glide of 5, turn of negative 1.5, and a fade of 1. This, I know, will be understable and to stable, uh, depending on how hard I throw it. But I mainly bag this for a roller disc been really good as a roller disc. I can throw it, it'll turn, it'll hit, and it'll just keep on rolling down to the basket. Love it in the Neutron plastic. It's really durable. I like that it has the little bit thicker band, or rim I should say, and it just feels good in the hands. I, it's about the only MVP that I've liked so far, but I really haven't been able to find that much MVP that I really liked. So yeah, this made it in the bag about three years ago, and it's been there ever since. The next one up is, I can't remember the speed on it. I know it's a, uh, they consider it a long range driver, but I think it's, I really don't know what speed it is or anything else. I just been throwing it and I've never really even thought to look it up, but that is a Discraft Zombie. Uh, it's in the Z plastic. Uh, it's sitting at a hundred, I wanna say a hundred and seventy four grams uh, something in there I can't remember the sticker fell off years ago this is actually one of the discs I kind of started with in my first year uh, really like this it's more overstable for me but I keep it right next to the six speed because I can put some power behind this and I can get it to flip over if need be uh, it's a very good disc I like the slick plastic if I need something to skip this comes out of the bag and I'll skip it in Next up is my seven speeds. And uh, first up, we've got a dynamic disc evader and the Lucid Air plastic. 
Uh, so it's sitting at 155 grams. Uh, seven speed, glide four, turn of zero, and a fade of 2.5. This is a really good one for me. I can throw it out there. It'll, I can get the flex line, but it's going to have that really nice fade at the end that I really need it to, to be. Uh, I like the color too. Uh, the, you know, if, if I'm out in the woods, I need something bright, I usually go for this one, put it through the trees. And it's really durable plastic and everything, but this is my more overstable of the seven speed. Uh, my understable is a Lone Star Disc Mockingbird. This is the seven speed glide five turn of negative two and a fade of one. I could get this thing to turn over and it won't come back. I've also can get it to turn over and then it'll fade just a little bit back. Uh, this is my go-to understable if I need it to go to the right and stay to the right. Uh, it's also a good one if I want to put less on it and I put it on a hyzer. This thing will go straight and then it has that little bit of fade at the end. Uh, it's a really good disc. I really like it. Uh, I can't remember what plastic it's in. I want to say it's in something that starts with L. But yeah, I went ahead and dyed it. It's glow, it's glow plastic too. So I can use this for a glow round too. And this has been a really good disc for me over the years. So next up is my 8-speed. And I've only got one 8-speed. And I guess because I pair it with its with another disc uh, in my bag. But first up is my overstate. Well, I can, I can throw it overstable. But it is a Prodigy F5. Now a lot of people be like, well, that's, un, that's more understable. But for me and my arm speed, I always like to throw it and it has a fade at the end. Uh, this is where... It, if I want to get around a tree too because it is understable it'll kind of go over but then it always comes back and it has a nice fade at the end uh, it's in the 400 plastic you know I dyed it it looks good feels good I like that it's got a wide band on or wide rim I don't know why I want to call it a band but it's got a wide rim and I feel like I can put some you know I could put some power behind it if need be uh, I think it's sitting at a hundred and seventy something I don't know uh, all these have like the markings on them are rubbed off or the stickers are gone or the pins gone But yeah, I always do this. This is my uh, I could sit I put it right next to my eight speed uh, For my overstable spot now my understable spot goes to a Dynamic disc witness in the lucid air now if you've thrown a witness, you know that it's a speed eight glide six turn of negative three and a fade of one and with it being 156 grams, I can throw this thing. It'll go to the right. It'll fade all the way. I mean, this thing will just take off, and it'll just keep going to the right until it hits. Uh, it's a really good disc. I really like it. So if I'm ever at a tee pad and, I, and the basket's to the right, I can whip this, and I know it's going to get to the right and give me a good shot. So next up is the last of my fairway drivers, and that is the 9 speeds. Now for my overstable uh, disc, uh, it's been my favorite ever since I started throwing it. And it's been in my bag. Uh, my buddy Big Sal sent me some, and I've still got one in the bag that he, that he gave me. The other one's in my backup bag, so I don't want to... It, it's too pretty to throw. But it is a dynamic disc escape very great uh, stable to overstable disc uh, it's in the fusion plastic and then this one that Sal did for me is in the moonshine plastic uh, it's great disc I really love it it's the only disc I got two of besides the harp and it's because these it's because the moonshine plastic is more overstable than the fusion uh, and everything that and this one sits at 169 grams and this one's at 173 so yeah but this one i know it'll get more fade than this one but this has been one of my favorite fairway drivers you know if if, if a beginner disc golfer is looking for a little bit more speed i always tell them to go pick up an escape go pick it up in every plastic start throwing it and it'll do a lot of work for you and then my understable is the Latitude 64 Jade. Now this is in their uh, 
easy to use driver, uh, nine speed, glide six, turn of negative two, and a fade of one. Now it's in their optoplastic. Uh, it was kind of between this and the hatchet, and the hatchet just felt a little bit off to me. So I put the jade in, the, in there and I've left it. Uh, especially if it's going to be a like a tailwind or something like that, I'll throw out the jade, you know, just to see what it'll do. Uh, I really like this as an understable because if I put a little bit more power behind it, it will do that nice turn and it'll hold that turn until it hits the ground. Uh, plus, the glide on it is phenomenal. But that's not all. I have actually, I have three, only three distance drivers. So, a lot of you might be thinking, poor boy, you can't throw very far. You ain't got a big enough arm. But, for some reason, these three distance drivers, I can actually do pretty good in them. Now, I've got two, uh, two 10 speeds, and I've got an 11 speed. So, you know, it's kind of a thing. But these three, I, I can really throw them really good and everything. But started off we've got a latitude 64 sapphire this is in their opto plastic it is uh on their light one it's 159 grams this is whenever they came out with the easy to use line and i picked one up and i absolutely loved it i've got my first birdie with this disc i, I set it up 10 feet from the basket and absolutely loved it since uh, it's a great disc, you know, it's a, a more of an understable distance driver. So if you're looking for an uh, understable distance driver, this would be a good one to start with. I really like it, and I've really ran with it. The next one up is my overstable uh, distance driver, and that is a Innova Disc Golf G-Star Orc. Now, I love the G-Star plastic because it's really flexible. Uh, it's really durable and everything. Comes in at 171 grams. I can throw this and I guarantee that I'll have that nice fade at the end. It's always going to go towards the left. And that's what I really like. Now, when I throw it, it'll hold straight just a little bit for about, I'd say, a couple seconds. And then it has that really nice fade at the end. And then it'll just kind of, it doesn't drop, but it'll hit the ground and it'll kind of skip. So I really like this disc, you know. For me not having an arm, I really like this. And I guess it's because it's got such a wide rim that I could really get some power behind it, you know. I don't have very big hands when it comes to disc golf, but it just it feels really good. I can really rip the heck out of this. And that's why it's been in my bag for quite a few years. Next up is my last disc it is a fairway driver 11 speed glide 5 turn of negative 1 and a fade of 2 uh, my buddy Matt gave me this disc to try out and I've absolutely loved it since I actually went and bought another disc like it to give it to somebody else because I wanted this one and that is a Lone Star disc curl now this one's sitting in 172 grams uh, I can't remember what plastic it is. It's in their more durable plastic. But this thing is awesome. I can throw it. You know, I can throw it. And it'll go straight for me. And then it has that nice fade at the end. I can get some really good distance. I, I've been able to get pretty close. At least 20 to 30 feet away from the basket. With this disc. Um, now that's shooting at about 250, 260-ish. So... But yeah, it's been a really great disc for me. I, I absolutely love it. I love the feel of their plastic. And and this thing has really shocked me that I could even throw 11 speed and actually get some accuracy with it and get some good distance with it. Now, kind of a bonus <laughs> here at the end of the video. I actually picked this up. I did a test. I haven't edited the video yet. This one will come out before it. But I've been throwing it. I'm, I've been liking it. It's a weird utility disc for me. And that is a Lone Star Disc Chupacabra. I uh, found this over at the store for 10 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, it's really 
good. It's in their Lima plastic, 156 grams. Now, normally, this overstable, it's a 9-speed glide 3 turn of 0 and a fade of 4. Normally, that would scare me because that's, that's a little bit more arm speed than I got. But the 156 grams kind of makes it weird. Like, I can turn it over, but then it has that really hard fade at the end. It doesn't stay in the air very long either. You know, glide of 3 is it's right on it. You know, I can throw it at hole 1 here in Siloam. I can throw it, it'll get out, and then it has a hard fade right into it. And it, it gets about 250-ish for me. So it's it's not in the bag, but it's kind of in the bag. So, yeah, I figured I'd throw it in and kind of give everybody kind of a... This might be something that you uh, might see a future video in, maybe next week or so. Depends on whenever I can get it edited. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really weird disc for me, and it's I'm thinking about using it as a utility disc to replace an, another one that I took out of my bag. But yeah, that's that's going to be poor boy's bag for the uh, two, the 2023 season. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, this is poor boy reminding you to play the sport and grow the sport that is disc golf. Thanks for watching.